I'm just going to ask you a question now. What are the things that you do to self renew and essentially, you know, sharpen your saw? Like, in fact, what just for us, I you answer that. There is a little story in here because I quite like this little story. It says, um, "Just let me read this." So, I'll read the story out of the book. It says, "Suppose you were to come upon someone in the woods working feverishly, feverishly to saw down a tree. You ask them, what do you doing?'" And the guy says, or the person says, "Can't you see?" Comes the impatient reply, "I'm sawing down a tree." You look exhausted. You exclaim, "How long have you been at it?" "Over five hours." He returns, "And I'm beat. This is hard work." "Well, why don't you take a break for a few minutes and sharpen that saw?" You 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 inquire. "I'm sure it would go a lot faster." "I don't have time to sharpen the saw." The person says emphatically, "I'm too busy sawing." So what's that saying is that you've got to take time out to improve yourself. Otherwise, you're just going to slow down. You're not going to be better. You're not going to improve. Anyway, Lee, I'm going back to your question. Sorry, I just trampled over that a little bit. But what are things that you do? What practices you do to sharpen your saw? That was a good... I like that story, by the way. And I've, there's, there's different versions of that. But it is that sometimes people get so caught up in the doing, they don't take that step back to do something that can make things easier for themselves. And I think that's that's a really good illustration of that. It's, it's the same as the kind of the illustration of a person with a bucket trying to scoop all the water out of a boat that's got a massive hole in it and you don't I haven't got time to fix the hole so I've got to get all this water out and it's the same the same sort of thing and I really I think it's quite a powerful analogy that one or metaphor whichever one of those words suits it best mm. will you do me a favor can you go round the the circle again and tell me each of the four Ooh. things and we can talk about each of them in response to your question right so the first one is physical so and what I'll do this as well this this one it resonates with me and it makes sense and it lands. So I know that needs to happen. I I would say on and off. For about four months last year, I went to the gym and I've not been since. On and off a bit of walking, been doing a bit of dieting recently. So it's something I, I do and I'm conscious of. I could probably do a bit better with. Yeah, you know, that one just makes sense to me I'm on on the physical side. You know, we, we're all aware of needing to do it. And I think, as I'm sure was slash is the same for you joe as you get a bit older you get a bit more aware of that as well sure and the importance of it my diet now is certainly a lot better than it was 10 years ago and 20 years ago and 30 years ago i do i do stuff i'm conscious of that one and it 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 makes sense and it doesn't fill me with a sense of dread when you say it like oh my god i'm way behind on doing something there 